I just got out of the shower. I made my bed this morning, changed my sheets actually last night, so they're already like pretty clean. Um, I made some coffee, and I don't know what it is, but it just feels like summer today, and it's giving me a huge serotonin rush. I want to do this face mask. This here is by Blue, and I use this probably like once or twice a week. I love it. I was actually sent a bunch of products from them, and I'm currently testing them out, so I'm super excited to share them with you guys and also apply my face mask. This here is going to detoxify for a brighter complexion. It rehydrates for smooth and supple skin. It's going to remove dead skin cells, tighten your pores to minimize their appearance, and also promotes blood circulation. So many amazing things about this specific face mask. You guys have to try it out for yourself, but I'm so excited. It's Sunday today, so I just feel like a little Sunday self-care is much needed. A little bit about Blue is they are a Canadian skincare brand and they are cruelty free and paraben free. The collection I'm currently trying out is the Hydrate Collection. It contains glacial mineral water rich in more than 60 skin nourishing minerals and rare elements. When going through my skincare routine, I like to first use their toner because this is really good to hydrate my skin, soothe my skin, and also cleanse my skin. After that, I like to go in with the Blue Moisturizer because this is going to hydrate, soften, and replenish my skin. Next, I like to go in with our eye cream. This is super great for energizing the skin, hydrating the skin, and renewing the skin. This is really going to brighten up your eyes and give a smooth complexion underneath. And when I like a little bit more coverage and hydration, I like to go in with their moisturizing cream. This is going to hydrate, protect, and restore your skin. It's rich in skin nourishing sea minerals, detoxifies for a brighter complexion, rehydrates for smooth and supple skin, cools for a calm and soothed skin, and also is going to promote healthy skin cell renewal for a clearer complexion. I just washed off my clay mask, but I want to say a huge thanks to Blue for sponsoring today's video and for partnering with me. If you guys want to check out any of their products, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. And if you guys also use the code OLIVIA15, you are going to receive 15% off of your purchase. My face feels so much better already. That was just such a great start to my day. But again, I just want to say a huge thanks to them and go check them out. So it's the next day. Are we surprised? I want to talk about mental health and what I've been going through the last couple days with it. And I personally like watching people that talk about mental health because it makes me feel more normal. Basically, for the last couple days, I've had this pressure to be super productive. I have a lot that I need to get done right now, and I've been making to-do lists. And if you guys follow me on TikTok, you'll like see that I'll post on my stories a to-do list. And then I just don't really post anything after that because I start getting super overwhelmed. And it's kind of just like a paralyzed... A paralyzing feeling when I start feeling overwhelmed the first thing I do is I go on my phone I'll sit down and I'll just like open my phone and go on Instagram or TikTok and it's became this cycle where I'm on my phone the whole entire day what that ends up doing is I start getting like an overload of content and it's like overstimulating in a way and I did that again today it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just starting my day and Again, I had so much on my to-do list and I've done hardly none of it because I felt so overwhelmed. I had two options. I could either get up and start or I was going to take a nap because I'm super sleep deprived on top of all of this. I decided to get up and be productive. So I got in the shower and just getting in the shower made the world of difference. I just feel so much better and I think one thing this week that's really been helping me is getting rid of things that don't serve me a purpose so i'm really trying to do that on social media if something's overwhelming me if i open up social media and i see something or someone that brings negative feelings i feel like it's just better to cut that out of your life first being caught up in like what someone else is doing i actually deleted instagram and tiktok off my phone i'm gonna try really hard not to like overwhelm myself with my to-do list and like make sure i'm like checking everything off but I more so just want to be very present and just very mindful of the things that I'm choosing to do with my time right now. So if I do start to feel overwhelmed, I'd much rather like sit down and read a book with my kids and like cuddle with them for a second versus like sitting down and just scrolling on Instagram. Speaking of the devil. I gotta have to get something real quick. Okay. <laughs> Sunday morning rain 
is falling Steal some cover share some skin Clouds are shining us in moments Don't forget about your twist to fit the mold that I am in But things just get so crazy living Life gets hard to do And I would gladly hit the road Get up and go if I knew That someday it would lead me back to you Alright, we just got to Target and I have to grab a couple of things for dinner and then I also have to go to Old Navy because I have a return. So, Mom! Can you go, what? Can you and book me while we're in the car? No. Why? I'm a little bit scared. Neither of them have <laughs> napped. So like taking Can two kids go? into Target, I'm mm, not looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, so the kids did get a treat because they were so you good. Don't open mine. Don't, you want to oh, open Oh, I can say mine. Are you buckled? Yeah. Jump, here. Mom, I can, can open, open mine. mine. Yeah, I'll open it, Luca. Mine. Don't spill. Okay. Anyways, we were in and out of there so fast. I want to see what time it is. I don't even know where my phone is. I think it's in the trunk. My goal was to be out by 6.20 and it's 6.10. So, we did good. The kids got a treat because they were really good. They stayed in the car the whole time. And I was able to get everything I needed and only everything I needed, which is that that's honestly a first. Because normally, as I'm sure everyone does this, I go to Target for one thing and end up with like $200 worth of stuff that I did end up needing, but probably didn't. Good morning together over here. Good morning. Come on. I'm Ruka. I'm Ruka. We just got up and I'm making the kids bacon and eggs. This is literally their favorite breakfast. When I told them we had eggs, they were like so excited, but they like their eggs like this. Like the medium eggs. Your food. Okay, I'm gonna fork in the knife. We have a lot on our to-do list today. I have a therapy appointment in a couple hours and I still don't know who's gonna help out with the kids. I don't really have anyone to watch the kids. So I'm gonna call and see if I can just take them. Also kind of random, but look how cool this pan is. I love this little thing. You just close it and it cooks. Like I cooked bacon on it today, but I've made hamburgers on it and like chicken, so it's really cool. But while they're eating, I'm gonna go try and like get a little bit ready while I have a minute. Well, it has been a day. Um, I had therapy today. The kids and I made breakfast, and then, and now I just film. I cannot leave my bed. 
which happens. But the kids and I went and got like a little drink after and just chilling, huh? We also played outside for a very long time and now it's so windy and cold so I'm like guys, we need to come inside. So can we go out can I go outside and play the attic now? When it's not windy anymore. It's so cold. A storm might be coming. A storm is the storm is coming with rain? Maybe. Mom, the gate is not closed. What gate? The gate in our yard in here. Is Otis out? I really want to see. What gate are you talking about? Otis! in our backyard was like open and now I think Otis ran out and it's so cold outside I don't even want to go look for him he always comes back so like he'll just stay in front of the yard but I need to go get him okay let's go get him Okay, Parker and Drill B, I'm on my way to pick you up and we'll go oh, to the Otis, in just a minute. Okay. Otis, you ran outside, I saw him. Yeah! Okay, Stay inside, you guys, it's freezing. Go inside, Luca, it's cold. and watch movies but I took my TV down and I put it in our living room and I only have a projector that I've been watching movies on which is such a vibe but it's too bright outside so you're not gonna be able to see it. How old are you? Your kids go up the street, go follow your moms and have a good time and stuff and go to the park and them to not do that. So, I'm gonna look pretty, but today, today I'm not trying to be pretty, but I'm animal. I'm so happy today, look, with my mom, all the family loves his heart, and the hearts in the sky. Why are you so pretty today? And I don't know, my mom dressed me up like I look pretty. Good morning! I just got back from taking Ava to school today and I'm going to make my bed because I've not done that yet and I also have like a Zoom call meeting in a minute that I got to get on so let's make her bed and then let's prepare for our meeting. <laughs> So I don't know how to push it in a positive direction, but also maybe still keep that niche if that's what is performing well. It could go either way, that it could become overwhelming for you and like you feel like people, I mean like also the internet is flooded with trolls. I actually today got an email from someone who has a podcast and I just don't want to get sued. It's not urgent. And just like for me to get an idea of like how I can um, like timelines for brands. So I just got done with my little meeting, which was really fun. I love being able to chat with the people that I work with because it's sometimes hard to put like a face to a name and like we only like text throughout the day. Basically what it was about was I am signed with an agency and my manager is switching positions and so I just got a new manager so it was just to meet her and talk about like campaigns and our goals for this year and what brands we want to work with and just kind of like create an overall strategy and schedule for 2022, which I'm really excited about. I'm more motivated than ever right now 
because I've just really started finding like my passion again through social media and just seeing like the opportunities that I've had recently I'm just really excited so there's so much planned for this year I'm so excited to take you guys along on just everything I have going on this year I have stuff booked out till June right now I have to go get Ava in like an hour so I'm gonna try and get some editing done while I have time oh I actually want to give you guys a social media update I deleted my social media for a couple days and I actually re-downloaded it for the first time last night and um, okay, as I was literally just saying, I'm finding my inspiration through social media. I'm also at the same time, like, never want to download Instagram again. I just feel like I have a really hard time creating, like, a work-life balance and setting aside time for specifically work and then specifically my life and specifically, like, somehow including all of it, like, being able to vlog while I do fun things and not making it feel like a chore. And I didn't realize how much pressure I felt with having Instagram, even though I was like, oh, today I don't have to post, today I don't have, like, anything to do on there. I felt like this huge pressure of, like, coming up with content. It just kind of became a biz, like, a job more than, like, when I was scrolling, it wouldn't be, like, fun, like, checking up on everyone's life. It kind of felt like I was just constantly trying to come up with content and stuff, which just feels very overwhelming sometimes, but... I think deleting it and having that break was, it made it so that I could kind of not look at it as like a job necessarily, but more as like a hobby and it being fun, which is how I want Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and everything to be. I want it to be something that I love doing, something that's fun and I'm passionate about because I feel like that's when you succeed the most is when you're actually passionate about what you're doing. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Also go check out Blue Beauty. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box again for you guys and you can use my code below and my link. They're amazing, but yeah, I love you guys and I'll vlog soon.